This hands down is the most lunchboxes you'll ever see in one place in a lifetime. Such a treat. Hey everyone, in today's video we have quite the exciting one. We are at the Columbus Collective Museum. This building holds a few museums in it, as well as some antiques for you to purchase. So we'll start off with the shopping experience. They had a great array of vintage, toys, retro, antiques, you name it. And I really did want to say they had some really reasonable prices and they also worked with you. So hands down, we'll definitely come back for just the antique shopping but did want to show a good array of it. I like an antique store, you gotta dig a little bit. You never know what you're gonna find. So this one was right up my alley. And I always will say glass cases are some of my favorite things to look at. Always see a good S&P set, some vintage toys, what have you, never hurt to look. I did end up picking up those little S&Ps up. Have to work on those as a project, but loved them. And of course, they had some dolls. I don't think I ended up picking up any dolls in this trip, but I know I did pick up some Lipperman ashtrays and a ceramic mermaid figurine. So I do believe I was talking to the very kind Caitlin. Shout out everyone who was working here today. They are trying to pare down the actual antique shop and trying to make more room for the museums. Spot that cute little squeak. But yeah, so definitely highly recommend coming, seeing if you can find anything for your own collection. I think it's always so fun as a reseller being able to see things you've sold in the past and things that you have knowledge on. Loved that little kangaroo hopper. But I think that's just the joy of reselling, getting to fill yourself with lots of knowledge and always constantly learning. So anytime I get to venture off to a new antique store. It is just possibility for a new learning endeavor. The boyfriend and I did spot some of these big eye prints, which that I think originally was sold as a set, but ended up selling all the rest. Now here are some cars. You guys know I know nothing about cars, but if you stay tuned, we will be actually going through a car museum. So make sure you stick around for part two. I think that's going to be in that video. Obviously, you guys know I love a good kitsch ceramic. So trying extra hard to maneuver and see if we can find anyone for resale or my own personal collection. I did find some rushed in goodness. We saw some Coke memorabilia. They actually had a ton of it, as you can see. I think they had their rushed in Coke Santas marked at about 150, which is again right on the money. But yeah, my friend Katie at Vintage and Vinyl would go ham, I'm sure, over this little section. Again, being in Atlanta, I really don't know much about Coke, but I know I see it all the time. And always trying to look for a good collector's book or two, so always try to hit up the books when we can. Even though, I will say, books for me are like overstimulating. I don't know why that is. I can look at little trinkets all day long, but books, oh my gosh, I really got to use my brain power. And here we are at, I think, definitely my favorite section of the building, which happens to be the Vintage Lunchbox Museum. Oh my gosh, when I say it is an understatement, there are hundreds and hundreds of lunchboxes, thermoses, TV trays, and more. There is definitely a good chance you'll spot your childhood lunchbox in here. So keep an eye out. Let me know in the comments if you do. One thing I thought was awesome about the Lunchbox Museum, if there are duplicates of any lunchboxes, one will actually be available for sale. So if you are looking for something extra hard to find, you never know, you might just find it here. I did love this ponytail case, so good. And more of the higher end ones are behind glass. It's so funny, I have actually sold that little elephant toppy. He was like a vinyl oil cloth plush, 
Loved the Beatles lunchboxes. Oh my gosh, I've never seen the yellow submarine one. They even had some, I do believe, really kind of kitsch ones from Japan, which I thought was really, really cool. And of course, some superheroes. Here were some of the ones that actually came from Japan. Love Pico. She's so cute. And again, watching this back, I didn't even notice any of the Hello Kitty ones, which I would have died over. Definitely went to the psychedelic style ones. Those were some of my favorites by far. And they just keep going and going. I mean, floor to ceiling full of lunch boxes. Personally, I loved the mix of them. They had obviously some more older uh, vintage metal ones, and then they had some more contemporary ones that even I kind of remember as a child. Loved that thermos, obviously. So I think this is a great place to bring the whole family. See what you guys can find. I brought my boyfriend and we both love vintage, but our eyes definitely go towards different subject matters. So it, again, it was really fun to see uh, what he pointed out versus what I did. And honestly, I didn't realize there were so many TV trays. I thought that was really fun to see. Now, it's again, as a reseller, it's so cool to see things that I've actually sold in the past. I've seen out and about while sourcing. They are all really just collected together. It is such a fun sight. And they had even some other tins. Being a big Barbie fan... I always spot the Barbies and the little Kittles, absolutely love. But I swear, I remember those Sesame Street ones from when I was little. Truly time capsule, being able to see the progression of how lunch boxes were made was really quite the eye opener. They had some definitely early ones up into more contemporary and also spot all the trash cans. I completely forgot to mention those. And they just had like a random tree in the middle of the room, which I loved. And my uh, heart stopped when I saw this Twiggy lunchbox. I've been on the hunt for that one for many of moons, especially at a decent price. Loved that poodle one as well. I have the matching thermos, which you'll see here in a second. But oh my gosh, if anyone has any leads to a Twiggy lunchbox, you will have to let me know. I got this same thermos, I think, last year for Christmas. Love Miss Twiggy. Loved the little whimsical toy box. I thought he was pretty fun. I think he was a little football player. Tons and tons to look at, so make sure you are following and stay tuned for part two. We will be exploring the RC Cola section as well as the vintage automobiles. So, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next.